Just go ahead. Well, you all might have heard about gamification of education, but I'm here today to talk about education's next new buzzword, game showification. And this trend is coming from my personal experiences. Eye-opening experiences on my own about lessons schools can learn from a TV game show. Um, specifically, my family recently competed on Family Feud. So this aired just this Tuesday, uh, April 19th, after a very long process. Um, my sister found out about live auditions back in October 2014, and she signed my family up. At first I thought it was a silly idea, but I'm the oldest of six kids, and I had to step up and contribute. So the first lesson that our schools can gain from TV game shows is to embrace your unique story, each of us, as students or teachers. We had to complete a written application. We had to have a story to be told about our family, to even get considered for the show. It gave us an opportunity to reflect on our own family's unique qualities and our ability to shine through our character. Attitude matters. For the first round of auditions, we were head to head with other families trying out. Our answers did not matter at all. It was all about our enthusiasm, our personality, and our energy. And even in the next stage, the personal interview with the producer, she got to know each of us and videotaped us to take back to her staff and again, it was all about our attitude. This is true in our schools as well. We waited for months, late spring, to receive a postcard that said we had moved through to the next stage. They sent us a list of taping dates and we had to tell them which all six of our family members who auditioned would work for, for our family. It didn't leave many open options, so we weren't all that hopeful that it would work out. But during the summer of 2015, we were invited to fly out to Atlanta for a two-day taping at the Family Feud Studios. We were pretty excited, but it still didn't mean we'd be on TV. So take time for conversation in our schools and our classrooms. We had a conference call with the show staff to learn all about do's and don'ts for the show. We found out answers to the most serious questions. What do we wear? We had to dress to impress. Solid, bright colors. No white, no black, no pastels. Can other family members tag along? Sure, as long as they're over the age of 16, there's adult humor in the audience. Can we post on social media? Yes, as long as you don't give away any results. And do we get to keep the name tags? No. Can you believe that? No. <laughs> there's joy in the journey in both our schools and in playing a TV game show. On August 2nd, 2015, we traveled to Atlanta wearing our matching Willis Family t-shirts. We initiated a Willis Feud group text that we still use to this day. We started a hashtag for our family members to follow us from back, back home. We were picked up at the airport by the official Family Feud shuttle. Yes, they really have an official shuttle. <laughs> and we were immediately pumped up by blaring music. Um, we gave a, they gave us a quick tour of downtown Atlanta, dropped us off at the hotel, and told us to be ready in the lobby early the next morning. We joked that this was the first and only time that our Willis family had stayed in a hotel and not crammed all six kids and two parents into one small room. <laughs> Everything has rules to follow in both education and in game shows. They're unavoidable, so you might as well just get to follow along with them. We had to turn in all of our cell phones immediately. We spent over an hour going over rules to the show. Um, they actually have game show police that come to every taping of every game show to make sure that nothing's rigged or fixed. Very interesting. We had to be escorted to the bathroom, and we couldn't make any eye contact with other family members who were in the audience at any time. We have to make every school day an event, just like they made it an event for us the first time we stepped onto the stage and the set of Family Feud. There was a big reveal, a dramatic moment when we walked in for the first time, and they, they pumped us up for that. There was lights, the brand new car, music. Um, we all took our seats in the back, and we had to go through a final audition round to see which families they would invite to be on the actual episodes. There was even a, a fake Steve Harvey, Reuben, taking his place, getting us excited. As teachers, we need to remind our students and redirect them often. That's what they constantly did for us on Family Feud. Put your belly to the table. Don't lean down to the mic. Just talk loud. Louder. Be more animated. Smile. Be louder. Uh, tell your story. Be louder. It was constant. Encourage your fellow learners. This was a big part of this game show experience. In the green room, we were surrounded 
by posters of past families that had played the game. Um, we had to shake each opponent's hand at the face-off, that's part of the rules. You were supposed to applaud wrong answers of your team. Good answer, good answer, or encourage them when they couldn't think of something. Dig deep, dig deep. Had to huddle up for the steal, shout out your ideas loudly, show your effort along the way. Again, important lessons for our schools. Pre-work patience and practice pays off. We had to watch from the studio audience as three families played before us, and there was so much energy just warming up the audience. They made us dance and clap and jump up and down, just in case the camera would catch a glimpse of you, even for a second. They filmed over an hour for each 30-minute episode, and finally, we were called to be the next competitors. Now, if you've watched Family Feud at all, you know that it's not a game of single right answers. And, and school shouldn't be either. There's more focus on what would other people say to get the questions right. For example, we surveyed 100 married men, etc. cetera. Um, and I think that we can gear our classrooms to that a little bit more too. But we need to remember that all learners feel pressure. I can't even remember the questions that were asked during our episode of Family Feud, definitely not the answers we gave. It's very different when you're on stage. You're thinking about anything other than the questions and, and everything other than the questions. And unfortunately, sometimes that's the case for our students as well. We were surprised as a family and excited that we had some early success. And I hate to spoil it, but it's already aired, so we didn't win, um, but we still had a great time. The very last steal, they stole it away from us. Educators truly care. Producers of the show were our biggest encouragers. We want you to do well, they told us. We need to tell our students that all the time and so that they believe it. They coached us, they rooted for us, they shared coaching tips in between each round, like go through the ABCs in your head to try to think of something. They said, we really liked your family. I'm sure they say that to every family. Um, Steve was absolutely entertaining. He never left the stage. He took advantage of commercial breaks to make jokes with the audience, um, have conversations, and just a constant teacher leader. So the secret to success of being on Family Feud, especially on Fast Money, it's not easy. It's just like school, it requires quick, sensible thinking, good teamwork, but you still have to have a little bit of luck. We all know that the show is truly about the power of laughter. Just like our keynote speakers this morning, Bob and Jenny, that power to laugh and play is immensely important in education today. Being able to laugh at yourself and laugh, laugh along with others and not take things too seriously, this is true in education as well. So celebrate. We as schools need to do this more. We need to promote the positive and spread the success. I know that our family never had so much publicity. We were, uh, strangers were talking about us in the grocery store. Facebook was blowing up. There was an article in the Wayne Stater that my dad was a professor for for years, and he said they never reported on anything that I did academically as the head of the counseling department. But now that I'm on Family Feud, I'm important. So uh, we need to do that more in our classrooms as well. But the most important lesson of all, from my experience on Family Feud, that applies to schools as well, is that anytime you have the opportunity to learn something new, it's a great life experience, even if at first it's a bit uncomfortable. There's joy in the experience, and some of the positives that I got to experience was I didn't have to say any dirty answers on TV and embarrass my kids. Um, we got a $500 gift card, so that almost covered the multiple outfit changes we had to bring. We got to be silly and bond with our siblings and add to our family legacy and have family memories that last a lifetime. So I have one final bonus lesson, and you will only make sense if you actually watch the show. Uh, remember your roots. Thank you. <laughs>